Hello guys, my name is Zoomini and that was a quick preview of what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today. That's called gunshot syncing and let's get this started. Uh, first thing you want to do is open a new composition. Here are my composition settings. The duration just has to be longer than your clip. I'm doing a 30 second clip so I just put about a minute. Just pause the video, copy all this. Um, and then import your clip. Here it is, MSR 5 map by Dart Lowy. Make, you want to make sure to disable your audio and ignore these dark red and adjustment layers that's just the widescreen effect and the color correction I can show you guys how to do that later and uh, so the first thing I want to show you guys is how to add markers and we're going to add markers wherever we want our gun to shoot how you add a marker is you go to layer, add marker, and look at the key input you want to use that and for me I'm on a Mac that's the control key and 8 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-render this um, song it's called Lemetri. I excuse me. Um, it's by Lemetri called Excuse Me. And while I'm pre-rendering it, I'm gonna hit eight on everywhere that I want my gunshot to be. So just open up the waveform, click on your clip, and then hit LL. The waveform should be coming up. It might take a while to load on my shitty Mac. It's gonna take a while. I guess I have a lot of running or something. I don't know. Or my Mac's just complete dupe. So, I'm going to move this clip over to where I want the beat to start. I have an idea already where. So anyways, I'm going to be holding down control and hit 8 every time I want my beat to start. So, start about there. And we'll listen in a lot. Start like right there. And here we go, I'm going to pre-render. Just hit this over here. This. And, um... You might want to go over it a couple times, see if you like where the shots are. Just listen to it again. Why my frames are all late? My markers are late. I'm gonna redo this one more time, just to show you guys. And since I messed up, sorry to my first tutorial. So, we add one more marker about right here. And that's a little tip. And uh, sometimes you can use the waveform for um, to show you where you want your syncing to be. But uh, in cases like on a dubstep song, there's a lot of activity, so the waveform looks ugly and you can't even tell where anything is, where the beat is. So you just use this method without the waveform. Um, so now I'm going to go back to my clip just put the, the visual back on by clicking the little eyeball and I'm gonna find my first shot and as you saw in the preview I kind of twixtered from where he started zooming in the scope but I didn't use twixter, twixter's ugly you shouldn't use it to sync because I, I see a lot of people doing tutorials on that and it's not a good idea it's a lot of trial and error so I'm gonna make a twixter look like effect but with time remapping which is way easier and a lot more accurate I don't know why this Stupid thing isn't loading. Getting irritated with this laptop. Alright, the, the gunshot should be coming in a little bit. Let me try disabling my color correction. Maybe that's taking up a lot of room or something. Alright, so the gunshot's about there. And what you're going to want to do is, whenever you want to make something slow motion, which is what I'm about to do, is you cut out the part you want to be slow motion. So, so I'll start the cut right here, and then finish the cut from where he's done zooming in. I don't want to capture the scope, because I'm going to be adding some motion blending, and motion blending makes the scope look kind of ugly, so I don't want that part to be in the motion blending. Let's see, where should I start? Uh, about here. And I just 
cut again, and there we go. I could remove this piece, or I could just move this about here in the very beginning. And next thing I want to do is add a marker uh, where my gunshot is, just to help me out. So you can see the little flash right there. That means the frame before is where he shot, which is right here. Just put Control Eight. There's your marker. So next thing we want to do is line this marker up with the first uh, marker that we have on our timeline from the music. There it is, lined up. And now we want to get our little cutout piece that we're gonna slow down. So just go on until it's black. All right. So now click on the clip that we cut out, and using the second half of the bracket, which is this key. It'll just line it up automatically. I use that instead of trying to move it over. That's just stupid, just use this key and put. And now what we're gonna do is double click, I mean right click on this. Go to time, enable time remapping. Add a keyframe here, which is the last frame. And go to the first frame and add a keyframe there. So that's the first frame. And we're gonna go back over here to that other piece we cut and go to that see where it's all black that means that's where we're gonna put our first keyframe and just move this over cut it out so you get this extra piece out if you don't know how to split a layer just go to edit split layer and that's the key input I use it's better than actually hitting an edit split layer each time and there we go so that should be the little, a little bit of a slow mo should be seen right there. Let's pre-render it. If you look at it, it looks a little bit choppy. It doesn't look that much like Twixter because it doesn't look smooth. And you want it to be smooth. How we're gonna make that smooth is about three clicks. Click on this, and then go to the clip that we slowed down. Hit it right here until you get a line like this. And now, if we watch it, it's gonna be pretty smooth, as you can already see. And so next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys is where you should add keyframes for your time remapping. So just go to this little clip, right click, time, you need what time remapping, add a keyframe at the gunshot, and before and after. So I'm gonna go a little bit after the gunshot, and add a keyframe maybe about here. And keyframe before this one, anywhere before this one. And we're gonna do that with each shot. So I'm gonna go to the second shot. Let's see where is that gonna be exactly. About here. Add a keyframe on the shot and a few frames before it, I'll go back about 15 frames. You can tell that from this little area right here so there's 15 frames and go forward 15 about 15 frames I'm not being exact I'm doing this really quick so we're gonna have to do this on each keyframe I mean each shot so I'm gonna pause the video and add the rest of the keyframes All right, guys, there, there it is. I'm done adding all my keyframes. Add a keyframe for each shot, a little bit before, a little bit after. And next thing we're gonna do is just line up our keyframes, every three keyframes, with the marker. So just hit one of them, then hold shift, grab the other two, and make the middle keyframe, which is the shot, align, line up with the marker. This is a pretty, it's a pretty easy, and this will line up your shots because and for time remapping, what it does is it takes one point in a video, and it'll, um, it'll you could place it anywhere else you want on the timeline, which makes syncing really, really easy. So we'll just do it again. And I didn't add motion blending for this because um, we don't really need motion blending because it's fast paced and it'll, and it make the edit look a little bit weird. So. Here it is. I'm also taking the last keyframe because I want the distance to stay the same between the 
um, between the keyframes. Um, just do what I say. I know it's confusing what, I, what I'm trying to say. I don't know the exact words for what I'm trying to say, but um, basically the reason we use three keyframes for before and after the shot is because we want to keep that um, time captured together. If we don't have these keyframes before and after the shot, what will happen is it'll speed up the clip or slow down the clip and it'll look choppy. So next thing what we're going to do is add our shots. Here's an MSR sound effect. All you gotta do is put it in your timeline. And then just, let me put it about right here. Doesn't matter where you have it, but um, just hit the first bracket key and it'll line it up exactly. And then using this tool, this little where my mouse is right now, just hit it over, find that second shot, and then duplicate this. How you wanna duplicate this, just go to edit. Here's a keyframe for me, that's Command D. Hit that first bracket and then go to the next shot. Duplicate again. First bracket. I'll do this for each shot. I don't know how I'm doing on time. I'm doing good. And there we go. That's basically the gist of syncing. Everything's done. Uh, I'll pre-render this while I talk a little bit. Uh, I'm doing this to keep active. I'm also showing this because I see a lot of people trying to use Twixter. Don't use Twixter. It's just not as accurate as this. This is completely accurate. And I'll see a lot of good editors using it. Uh, please like and fave if this helped you. I'm going to put downloads in the description of uh, MSR, Vera 50 Cal, L11, call it, uh, M48 3 sound to help you syncing, you know, the basic sniper gunshots you need. And let's watch this, let's see if it's synced. So, leave any tutorial requests in the comments, and I'll do one. My next tutorial will be render settings, so, peace.